Hey everybody, before we dive into this week's conspiracy, we wanted to give a big thank you to everybody who submitted to be our next host of Cartoon Conspiracy. We received a ton of amazing entries and we had so much fun watching them all, and it was really hard to narrow it down to just a few finalists. So we here at Channel Federator just want to let you all know that the next few episodes of Cartoon Conspiracy are going to be guest hosted by our finalists in our search for a new permanent host. Now it's time to see what one of our potential hosts has in store for us. Let's check it out. Inside Out may be one of the newer additions to Pixar's library, but it's already firmly established itself as one of the studio's classics. Through the adventures of Riley, joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust, the movie had us laughing, crying, laughing again, crying again, try not to cry, cry a lot, let it all out. In the second act of the movie, while stumbling through the twisty, turny maze of long-term memory, joy and sadness run into Riley's old imaginary friend, Bing Bong. And throughout the movie, he wears this little flower on his jacket. And each color can be associated with one of Riley's emotions. Yellow for joy, blue for sadness, red for anger, orange for... Wait, who does orange represent? Is there a sixth emotion we never met? What exactly does it represent? It did always seem a bit weird to me that Riley's core emotions were condensed to just five. Humans are complex creatures with a wide variety of emotions, and no character in the movie other than Riley displays this wide range of emotion better than Bing Bong. He's a perfectly balanced character, possessing all of Riley's main emotions, so much so that he literally wears them on his sleeve. As we've already established, we can associate every one of Bing Bong's flower colors to the main emotions in this movie, except this orange one. It could be argued that it represents Bing Bong, because his legs are orange. But considering the other emotion's colors relate to their dominant colors, it seems unlikely since Bing Bong's dominant color is unquestionably pink. It's not like joy is represented by the color green or anger by white. The colors could just be a standard rainbow pattern, but if Roy G. Biv has taught me anything, it's that if this were a true rainbow, there would be seven colors as opposed to six. But what if the sixth petal is meant to represent Riley herself? It's unlikely because it seems like the flower as a whole is meant to represent Riley. When she first arrived, at her home in San Francisco, she wears a shirt that has the exact same arrangement of colors. If the color orange was meant to represent Riley, why wouldn't she just be wearing an orange sweater? Come to think of it, she never really wears just plain orange anywhere in the movie. And the combination itself is oddly specific too. Ask any artist what the primary colors are and they'll say red, blue, and yellow. And these three combine to form three secondary colors. Red and blue make purple, yellow and blue make green, and red and yellow make orange. Wouldn't it make sense to have the main characters of this movie round out these primary and secondary colors? The flower sure seems to think so, as it bears a striking resemblance to a standard color wheel, with complementary colors all opposite each other. But with all this talk about primary and secondary colors, it's equally possible that the flower could symbolize the emotion's abilities to mix and combine new emotions. It is one of the main themes of the movie, after all. And if you look at, say, sadness and anger, or blue and red, you could reasonably come up with fear as a result. So if red and yellow make orange, couldn't orange be something like passion? You know, that feeling you get when you're all fired up about something. Like when you're arguing on the internet with somebody about why broccoli is not a valid topping for pizza. But seriously, every color on this flower has a reasonable explanation except for this one outlier. So is there a sixth emotion that Riley just doesn't have? First and foremost, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Nowhere in the movie is a sixth emotion present anywhere. Not in Riley's head, not in her parents, not even the animals. So if the flower is meant to represent an emotion, would that mean it's an emotion that only a select group of people have? And if that's the case, what could it be? Love? Hope? Pride? Wow, the movie just got a lot sadder if nobody ever feels those. As for the whole fusion thing, while arguments can be made that you could get passion out of a combination of joy and anger, that would mean that disgust would have to be a combination of sadness and joy, since after red-blue and red-yellow, it's the only combination left. It's not impossible to justify, but it's significantly harder considering some of the memories that we see at the end of the movie. They pretty clearly contain both joy and sadness, and the resulting emotion isn't disgust. And in the end, it doesn't matter anyway, since fear and disgust are already shown to be core emotions and not offshoots of our primary colors over here. It wouldn't make much sense for Bing Bong's flower to only showcase 
showcase one of the fusions when there are over 10 that are possible. The simplest explanation is probably the correct one, and while we glossed over it before, Bing Bong does have orange in his design. It would be unorthodox for him to be represented by the color orange, but is anything about Bing Bong orthodox? Despite this almost overwhelming evidence against this theory, there is a bit of truth to it. Not in the movie itself, but in the movie's production. In past interviews, director Pete Docter and producer Jonas Rivera have shed some light on what could have happened. During the production, up to 27 emotions were originally considered before they cut it down to five for the sake of simplicity. Some of the scrapped emotions included the previously mentioned love, hope, pride, envy, schadenfreude, and like a billion others. But let's take a closer look at hope. Based on the concept art that was released on the internet, guess which color hope was originally planned to be? Orange. If at any point in the film the main cast was supposed to have six characters in it, it would explain Bing Bong's six petals. But as it stands, we're left with only the five main emotions. They could have just kept the number at six to keep with the symmetry of the design. Or maybe they left the petal there as an extra nod to all the emotions that got cut out. Who knows, they might be keeping it under wraps for potential sequel material. It's definitely possible that there's a rare sixth emotion in the world of Inside Out, but at this point we don't really know enough to know for sure. All the more questions that can be answered whenever Inside Out 2 comes out. Based on Pixar's release schedule, it'll probably be around 2027. All in all, on the plausibility meter, I'd give this whole sixth emotion conspiracy 2.5 core memories out of 5. But that's just my opinion. Be sure to leave a comment down below to let us know if you agree, if you think there's something we missed, or if you have a conspiracy you'd like us to take a look at. Until then, be sure to subscribe to Channel Fred Raider so you don't miss the next Cartoon Conspiracy.